New at six, some good news. The number of overdoses are going down for the first time in more than a decade, much faster than in most states. Atlanta News First reporter Abby Casura shares the toll that the fentanyl crisis is taking on Georgia families now hell bent on saving others. So this one is the um, broken chains of addiction. This keeps me going. Sunita Jones got this tattoo in honor of her husband, Nicholas. She says as a recovering addict, she had hope rehab could help her husband too. He died of a fentanyl overdose at 22 years old. Okay, he's gonna get better. He's gonna come home and I'll have him back. And now I don't even get that opportunity. Bruce Guthrie that, says his son Cody started taking painkillers after a high school football injury and never stopped until he died of an overdose at 29. I remember standing outside the hospital and I made myself wait until they wheeled his body out, out, out of the van in, in a body bag. And I made myself watch that. I made the decision there. Either I was going to fight or I was going to die Right behind him. Now he talks to high school students to warn them. When I was at Carrollton High School that I opened up to, to questions and the one that doubled me over was a teenager asking me how do I help my friend who's in, who's in addiction. Overdoses are the number one cause of death for people 18 to 45. Jones and Guthrie using their free time advocating for change. After years working within their community, they're optimistic. A new report from the CDC found overdose deaths are down nearly 6% in the last year. But it's still way too many. One is too many. Along with enforcement to hold drug dealers accountable, police chief Joel Richards says a federal grant helped pay for these signs. We have the resources for mental health, substance abuse. We have it here. It's just homelessness. You know, we have a, a lot of resources for homelessness. Um, it's just getting people to use them. They say they won't stop until the number of deaths reaches zero. In Carrollton, I'm Abby Casoris.